welcome to this week's review. I am your host, as usual, Prue, and joining me, as usual, is Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you, sir? As usual, I'm doing well. Oh, great. Fantastic. So, uh, we played a game this week, huh? Yes, we did play a game, and we both had the same reaction to the game, too, which I think is amazing. So, we played the game called Desert Child. It was developed by Oscar Bretan and published by Acapara Games. It was released... December 12th, 2018, for the price of eleven ninety nine. So, what type of game would you call Desert Child? Well, I, don't, I don't know what I'd call it. It's <laughs> kind of an action game, kind of a racing game, kind of... O- almost a an time mismanagement game, game yeah, almost. too? I would say it has a split personality. Oh, <sighs> it's a very strange game. It is very odd. and Because when, when you start, you're just riding a... You start out and you're riding a jet bike thing. It looks a lot like the ghosts from Halo. That's it what I like mean. from Halo. Them. I was also thinking it was the speeder thing that Ray rides in the first uh, of the new Star Wars movies. Ah, yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, so you... So half of the game is the racing element, which we'll get to. And half of the game is... The adventure-ish city Wandering exploration to different points in the city, so you can do different types of race things. Yeah, but the main core gameplay mechanic is the racing. Correct. Which is and awful. It's terrible. The main part of the <laughs> game that you wanted to be good is terrible. <laughs> I so what? I don't, I don't even know what to, how to describe it. It's just bad. It is really bad. So so it's left to right. Um, you, Left to right, you're going at a fixed speed, and you're only ever racing against one other person, but you control where you are in the Z-axis, so you can come closer to the camera or further away. And really, the only thing is that you're supposed to be dodging obstacles and, for some reason, shooting televisions. Yeah, which give you money. Money and (laughs) power-ups. Some of them give you boost, and some of them give you money. Some of them give obstacles to stop the other player and let's be clear this this is not some fancy looking game either that's doing this this is for the old folks that listen uh this is like space quest king's quest police quest type graphics very blocky chunky 8-bit pc looking graphics yeah it's it's very pixel arty very a simplistic design so you can you can imagine how cool the racing is with it looking like. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be so bad, honestly. If it's just that, like, you don't ever really feel like you're in control because no, not at all. The camera never shifts focus, so you and your opponent are always on screen at the same time. So no matter how well you're doing or how poorly you're doing, you're always just within a, a, a one good run or one bad mistake from winning or losing. So it doesn't ever feel like it doesn't really matter how well you do. It's just kind of random, which is really frustrating when you're trying to actually beat these races. Yeah, really frustrating. And I, I just, I, I, the mechanics are just so horrible. But is it me or is this the 8-bit graphic thing that's kind of getting played out a little bit? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Especially in this game. They could have done. I, I wanted to. I actually, when I played it, I really wanted to like the game. But the mechanics and the, just the looks just got to me. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can see it. It's fine. I, I think the aesthetic is fine. It's it's inoffensive. It's just to me, it's just boring. Yeah, extremely boring. Done, and it doesn't it doesn't add anything to the gameplay experience. So let's talk about how our gameplay experience was, especially towards the end of the game. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's. Prue and I both rage quit this game. Now there is a solution. It turns out for the part we were rage quitting at, uh, for beating the last person in the game but we both were rage quitting because if you lose it starts you all the way back over at the beginning and of the grand prix did you uh notice the little glitch too with money i don't know if you noticed that when you're when you lose yeah and you still get a ton of cash yeah you get 10 grand the 10 grand it takes you to do the race you just get back and it doubles your money yeah you get like yeah it's kind of crazy so I, i guess just to lay it out a little clearer um you play i guess the tutorial on earth where you learn the racing mechanics, and then once you race, you get hungry and your and your vehicle gets damaged. So you have to go into town to, and pay the money, some of the money that you've earned, to get all that fixed up. You have to go eat, you have to fix your, your ship or whatever. 
then that's the beginning part. Then the rest of the game takes place on Mars, where you have both of those facilities available to you. You go eat and, and fix your and stuff. You, and you can get arrested, too. And you can get arrested. That's a... Yeah. But there's a lot more. So there's a bigger town. You're on Mars. And there's, like, this all sorts of little tiny things you can do in the town. Uh, and you spend 90% of the game there. Then at the end of the game, you have to go do the Grand Prix. Uh, so up until that point, you aren't really penalized that much for losing a race. Not at all. Um, you just don't get as much money if you lose a race. So... You can kind of breeze through the game, still earning money while you're losing, and sometimes win, and it's no big thing. And it's no, but at the end, you have to win two races in a row, followed by the final race, which is very much more challenging than what you've ever experienced up until that point. Yeah, extremely more challenging, almost to the point where it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, here's a pro tip, and the solution is up on TA at this point. If you If you get to that final race, you can actually just put your controller down. Don't touch a single button. And even though you will get smoked in the race, for some reason the game thinks you win the game. I don't know if it's because the other the NPC gets so far ahead or yeah, whatever. They, and they get really far ahead. <laughs> but you will actually win the race if you do not touch your controller at all. I, I can confirm it. I've completed the game. You should definitely do that. because I'm going to try that now because I didn't know that tip. Yeah, you do not want to rip your hair out trying to beat this stupid race. <laughs> Nothing else like this in the game is this difficult. Not even half as difficult. This no, is by even, far it, the most it's frustrating. It's insane. How, they're like, oh, we're just going to turn the difficulty to max now at the end of the game. Enjoy. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I guess we could talk about the achievements now. Yeah. Um, speaking of, oh, uh, speaking about achievements, there are some missable achievements if you don't get them on Earth. If you get five hundred dollars, it will boot you to Mars automatically. You don't have a, a say in the matter. You have to get a loan from your mom. That's an achievement. Yep. Which isn't. I mean, you could start a new game. And you could, but do that. If you want to do it all in one go. Yeah. So yeah, there's twenty three achievements for a thousand gamer score. Uh, there's two hundred and sixty four gamers that have played it as of this recording, and forty four have completed it. So yep. there's random ones. You have to eat a bunch of beans. There's a bunch of different kinds of beans which change each day. A day goes by each time you do a race or a task. Yeah, so there's a bunch of daily stuff that you need to do, but the one achievement that will make you play the longest is actually um, a full month on Mars, which is apparently 60 days, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it, Mars, day, Mars month is double. Yeah, so uh, that will be your longest achievement. Everything else you can get done easily within that time, but there's a bunch of daily stuff like buying um, newspapers for each day and buying beans for each day, and, and then there's some longer records. Yeah, longer stuff like get more money to get the records, um, and then the other missable. I think the only other missable achievement in the game is for not buying a specific item in the game, which is you can cigarettes. easily yeah cigarettes. You could easily accidentally do that, but if you pay any attention beforehand, um, that's easy enough to avoid. So um, no, I don't. No, I. My, my experience with the there's an achievement for chilling for an hour where you basically just sit there's a place when you go choose a race you can race or chill yeah <laughs> um, the chill is an hour and if you back out it doesn't it's not it's not cumulative it's you have to do it in one sitting oh okay I didn't know uh, but I my controller went asleep once and it did not count it basically reset so I tried it and got it today do not let your controller fall asleep or plug it in because yes yeah, so you will lose that energy do you you will have to restart that achievement. Chill mode is uh, basically screensaver mode, and that's it. It just shows you uh, a picture, an image, of your guy chilling on his bike thing, and uh, that's it. So just sit there for an hour, and that's not so bad. There, um, so, go, go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say, it is, it's, it's, it's definitely a doable list. Totally. Especially with that glitch. That makes it kind of a joke, but it's more frustrating than anything. I, th I would say more frustration than it's worth. I wouldn't quite call it an easy thousand. I would call it um, a, de a doable thousand. Yeah, because TA is at 1.8. It's like 1,800 out of 1,000 right now. So, yeah. It's doable. Um, what it, There was one good thing in the game, not achievement-wise. The music. I thought the music was pretty catchy. Yeah, it's, it, the music's fantastic, actually. Yeah, yeah. So they did a good job with the music creation. Um, there's different music for different tasks that you do but it's definitely music sketchy, so it's not all bad. Yeah. No, I actually, I kind of dug the vibe, the whole vibe of the game, like the attitude and the just the way everything kind of played out. Uh, 
I, it was really just the stupid racing. Yeah, the stupid racing, which is the core of the game. It's, it's, awful. it's just so slippery, and if you just feel out of control the entire time and you just get frustrated with it, um, uh, you know, there's a guide on TA says four to five hours. I would say that's pretty accurate. I think, I, I'd say that's accurate too, especially knowing that glitch for the finishing that race. Um, I did not look at the guide for the game. There was a, <laughs> an achievement guide already for it. I didn't look at it, so that's why I didn't know that little trick. So that's the trick is actually not even in the guide. That's just a. It's on a separate. Uh, yeah, a it's on achievement. this specific uh, achievement solution. So, uh, yeah, it's that man. I, otherwise, you would have to replay that last battle. Like it feels like forever. Yeah. Lame. So. Um. Yeah. So that was uh, Desert Child. What do you think? Twelve bucks. That's not. I don't think that's asking too much. I, I don't much. think it's asking too much. I mean, it's a doable thousand. And I mean, I did put the game down. I kept on playing it and playing it to try to get it done. So, yeah, I I would say it's not a terrible price for the game. I think it was, it's actually too bad. But by the time you hear this recording, it was actually on sale as part of the spring sale for two bucks less. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it'll be too late by the time you hear this. It is, you know, and one another positive thing I'd say is it's not there's not anything else really like it. No, it's it's it, like we mentioned in the beginning. It's kind of hard to categorize. Oh, uh, another thing of note: there are two, there are two non five and zero ending achievements in the game, and the second one is for beating the game for one point. So if you're at all nervous about that, uh, steer clear. It isn't that hard, especially with that glitch. But maybe he'll hit. I say he'll because it, the guy's name is the only one of the developers. But um, maybe they will fix it. Who knows? But for now, it's definitely a uh, 